I asked her in our class. I have a joke for you. Why did the Easter egg hide? Why? Because he was a little chicken. All right, here's another one. Why did the bunny cross the road? Because the chicken hid all his eggs. And here I have a container full of eggs. It's an old container that's been at my house a long time. You see it's been drawn on the sides, but I made it a challenge to rescue these eggs through the crisscross maze of tape. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reach my spoon in and get the eggs out one by one. This is something that you can do too. If you have a basket or a container with um, mesh or holes on the side, instead of using tape to make your crisscross patterns, you could use some yarn or string to make a crisscross pattern to make it challenging to get all eggs out. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, gotta change it here. Come on, my last two eggs. All right, we got them all. Now, another fun thing to do with your Easter eggs is to hide magnetic letters inside of them. And then when you take the letters out, you have to line them all up in alphabetical order. You can use a baking sheet like this, or you can just do it on the refrigerator. So, open up an egg, and we'll see what letters inside. E. Let's see what letters inside of this egg. This one is letter B. Let's see what letter do we have in here. Oh, it's letter A. A, B. inside this yellow egg. It's the letter F. It was right by the E. Let's see what letter we have in here. Letter D. And this blue one. Oh, the C jumped out of that blue one. There we go. And let's see. What do we have and what's missing? A, B, C, D, E, F. Hmm, what letter do we need there? Letter G. Let's see if that's what we have. Oh, it is. Oh, very good. Let's see if we've got all our letters now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. That's all my eggs. I only went to I, but we can sing the rest of the song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? This is a favorite Easter story called the Bunny Hop, featuring Elmo and his friends from Sesame Street. A funny thing happened on Sesame Street not so long ago. Bees were buzzing and birds were singing. The flowers were starting to grow. Elmo woke up and yawned and said, it's a beautiful sunny day. Then he went to put on his slippers, and one of them hopped away. As Ernie was reading the paper, something furry hopped over the funnies. When Bert went to start the spring cleaning, the closet was chock full of bunnies. Grover was playing baseball. A rabbit was under his cap. Harry was coloring Easter eggs. A bunny leaped into his lap. While Zoe was planting her garden, she found bunnies filling her shed. 
As Cookie was looking for jelly beans, he found bunny rabbits instead. Where had these bunnies come from? Nobody really knew. Oscar found three in his trash can. What was a grouch to do? Hoots was playing his saxophone when out of it popped a bunny. As Prairie Dawn ate her cereal, a rabbit knocked over the honey. What's going on? People shouted. It's becoming a funny habit. Every time we turn around, we find a bunny rabbit. Big Bird rounded the corner. Here's what they heard him say. Has anyone seen my bunnies? They seem to have run away. He sat on the stoop and said sadly, they were all in this basket I made. They must have jumped out of this hole here. Who will hop on the Easter parade? Then he noticed his friends holding bunnies. So he handed each one a hat. Let's all go and march together, he said. And everyone did just that. So many bunnies in this book. I want to show you a really easy way to make an Easter bunny painting. So what you're going to need are some paper towel rolls. You could take one long paper towel roll and cut it into three pieces, or you could use three shorter paper towel rolls, uh, cardboard tubes. Take two of them, here we go, this way. Take two of them and squish them a little bit. And leave the other one nice and round. The nice round one looks kind of like a bunny's face. And the two squished ones, I think, look like bunny ears. And so now what you're gonna do is use a paper plate or some other kind of a art tray. Squeeze some paint onto your plate. Maybe a little bit more than that. Spread it all around. Okay, so it's big enough so that you can stamp your Easter Bunny rolls right onto it. Okay, and then I think I'm going to use this nice pretty green paper and stamp it down on there. Get some more paint and do it again. And again. And there we have our little Easter bunnies. All you have to do is just draw a little face on there and some whiskers and you've got a bunny painting. If you don't have any paper towel tubes and you just have your um, Easter eggs around, you can also paint with Easter eggs. Dip the Easter egg into some paint and then print it on your paper. And what shape do you think that'll make? Circles. Really pretty thing to do if you have lots of different colors of paint too. It might even look like bubbles. So those are some Easter painting ideas for you. All right, I have this one gigantic Easter egg and there are some things hiding inside of it. Now I am going to give you some clues by sounding out the names of the things that are inside of here. So I'm gonna say the sounds slowly and then you have to put the sounds together back into the wood, the word, to figure out what's in my egg, okay? Here's the first thing that's in my egg. It starts with B, and then it has an A, ah, and then O. I'll say it again. B, A, ah, O. Can you push those sounds together to find out what that is? B, A, ah, O. It is a ball. Okay, you guys did great on that one. Our next item that is inside this great big Easter egg starts with k. It is k. A. Uh, er. Can you put those sounds together? K. A. Uh, er. K. A. Uh, er. It is a car.
Very good. Okay, there's one more thing in this great big Easter egg. It is g, a, m. Mm. I'll say it again for you. G, a, m. Mm. It is gum. All right, you guys. Awesome, awesome job. Our next Easter activity is going to be with science and math. We're going to use this bucket again, but we're going to take off all the tape and fill it up with some water. We are going to try to sink an Easter egg. Okay, all the tape off. Put this right in front of me. Back up the camera a little bit so we can see everything here. In goes some water. Okay, and just a little bit more water. There we go. Just a little bit more so you can see there. All right. Now, if we have just a regular old Easter egg, it floats on the water. But if we make if we make the e if we make the Easter egg heavier, maybe we can sink an Easter egg. So I have here a whole handful of pennies. These pennies are heavy. Let's see how many pennies it takes to sink an Easter egg. One penny in. Do you think it'll sink? Let's try it and see. Still floating. All right, then another one. Two pennies in the Easter egg. Let's see if it sinks. Yep, still floating. One, two, three pennies in the egg. Big splash. Still floating. One, two, three, four pennies in the egg. Let's see. Still floating. How about five pennies? And still floating. Six pennies. Still floating. Seven pennies. Oh, it's getting a little bit deeper down in the water now, but it's still floating. How about eight pennies? Eight pennies. Will it sink? Let's see. Still floating. How about nine pennies? Here goes nine pennies. Still bouncing and floating. Ten pennies. Surely ten pennies will sink an Easter egg. Let's see. Ten pennies. Here we go. Floating. How about 11 pennies? Still floating. 12 pennies? Oh, it didn't go far enough. 12 pennies. 12 pennies. Let's see. It is not sinking to the bottom. It's a little bit lower in the water yet, but it's not sitting on the bottom. That was 12 pennies, right? Okay. Here comes 13 pennies. Lucky 13. Really close to the bottom, but still not sunk. 14 pennies. How about 14 pennies? Here we go. 14 pennies. It is sitting on the bottom. Look at that. It, is, it has sunk down to the bottom with 14 pennies inside an Easter egg. You can try this at home too. See if it takes 14 pennies to sink your Easter egg. Maybe more, maybe less. Uh, who knows? Be a scientist and find out. I'll talk to you again soon.